Like once, once Yuri get your pack, what else would you want to do? Like Yuri beat it. I think that's what I would do if I if I continue playing tavern brawls. Unless I have a tavern brawl quest, I just be there trolling people. I wish they had more Tavern Brawls like this week though, lots of fun. I mean, really, do you get to see a 3366 Moon Minion? I hope they make the chess one into a Tavern Brawl, that'd be really fun. It could totally be a mini game within Hearthstone. It was a bit odd that our results were so different. I lost one game out of 15 and it was my fault. I was trying to lose without just conceding. You probably just got... Uh, also depends on what time you played. I played the Tavern Brawl pretty early on when it got released on each server. So there's probably quite a few people who were playing it for the first time. But if you play it now, probably everyone's already tried it and they know how to win. So it's another combo one, or it could be the Cthune one as well. We don't necessarily know. But I think it's probably safe to drop the armor smith then to deal with this. Either way, I'm pretty sure both the Cthune one and the combo one, they don't run Brawl, so you just make patrons. Sure, neither of those versions were Harrison. Take care. He's got eight cards. We could make him overdraw, but I don't know if that's really worth our time. Battle Rage for only one card, that seems... Either it's like Hiri has most of the combo pieces, or maybe even has a full combo to be willing to cycle Battle Rage for only one card. So if I want to cycle as well, then I do, I do coin. Pyro, Armor Smith, Icker, and then Battle Rage. That cycles three cards and clears the board, but um kinda wanna save Pyro to make just patrons. Yeah, I think it's fine to leave his acolyte up too. It's kinda at risk of overdrawing. So we have Patron, Pyro, Coin, Icker, next turn. And he, like if he doesn't have a combo, he wants to keep cycling, but without overdrawing. Yeah, shield block probably is a combo version. So the idea is we establish board control. Once we establish board control, then we can focus on cycling into our combo. He 
he's gonna draw two cards, so he's gonna he's gonna mail one card too. I guess I don't get the full board of patrons. But this is probably fine. Okay, so one axe gone. How much have you played with Grom in this list? Um, I think this flex spot is if you want to play Grom, then you take out Faceless. You either run Faces or Grom. I don't think you should run both. Grom is better. Grom is probably better against most matchups, except for Control. Like if it's against Control Warrior, Control Priests, I feel like I like the Faces. Grom is just much easier to activate, and you, you don't need to have the Emperor discount or anything. One of the issues is like he, even if he has a way to clear the board, he needs to think about it and execute it quickly enough. Like he probably had some whirlwind effects in, in hand, but he just didn't have enough time to think about how to do it. Choose death, bro. I mean, how often do you actually play the version with Grom? Oh, I don't. Because like I've been pretty happy with this version. in the house? No, we have uh, Sifta. Sifta's in the house, he's a mod. Knock, I'm back after beating Tavern Brawl first try. Congrats, Codemaster. Like I said, I think by now, most people have, most people who have played it, maybe have played it at least once, so they know what's going on. But it's good you didn't have to go through the frustration. So we're playing without Grom. All the, I mean, there's very few combo that's actually run Grom. Even Cthulhu warriors don't run Grom, right? So there's a lot of warrior lists that don't run it. freezing trap like that. If you have an idea that your opponent is is um, combo, you want to save that freezing trap to stop the warden. I think I have to slam here, so he can't get Houndmaster on it. And then we coin out, we coin out Emperor. And then we have uh, Patron discounted. We have Battle Rage discounted, which is huge. I think this is correct because this is the huge swing turn. We can make patron, we can do patron, inner rage, whirlwind, battle rage, and execute all in the same turn. That's why Emperor is so good. Have you been running into any Finn Pally? No, I haven't, but that's a good matchup for us, so we don't mind if we hit that.
got the ghoul. Uh, does it even make sense to execute the high main? I don't think it does, because it actually gives him two two minions to attack with if we execute the high main. I think we just leave it up. Got you with that freezing trap, bro. Yeah. Although I'm being honest, I would I would assume you were playing Worgen combo from seeing Armor Smith, still wouldn't freezing that. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it to freeze. Wow, both skill commands gone. Okay. I'm fine with that. So we do Ravaging Ghoul. Hopefully this pings the Ravaging Ghoul, so we can get some Battle Rage. We still have Armor Smith to recover, and we have the second Armor Smith too. A little bit low on card draw until we get the Acolyte, so... Call the Smork. Probably runs Kodo. I think I do this there on Kodo. I also get the extra card draw. Oh, what's your hand, buddy? Quick shots? Deadly shot. Feels bad, man. I got lucky there. We can actually charge and face assist. Let's say we get Pyro. We get Pyro and then we can um, charge face us. He's used both kill commands and it's like quick shot is the best he can do to try to clear the board. Alright. Yeah, give me Pyro. Pyro's GG. Smith is discounted, oh wait. Yeah, there's that freezing trap. Hey Spicy Mangoes, good to see you. And hey Apex Predator, how's the stream been going so far? It's been going well. 